Those who ride the light rail tell me they see it all the time. People crossing these yellow lines without paying. Yes, I see that often, actually. Sound Transit's latest numbers show that only about 55% of riders are paying. Before the pandemic, that number was assumed to be 80%. They believe that number will eventually go up to 75% because of a recent fare compliance move as ambassadors are now checking tickets again. But what if fare gates were to go up? Would that encourage more people to pay? It might. I think it might. Keith from New York City, who often takes the subway, says they don't stop everything. People do jump them. Sound Transit's board is expected to look into this in 2024. I think people should pay to ride public trans transit. Other Seattle taxpayers who use the system have a more relaxed stance on fare dodging. It doesn't particularly bother me. Uh, I would rather pay more and subsidize folks who can't uh, either afford it or who don't want to. A decision will have to be made about whether the cost of putting in the gates will even be worth it.